Hi, I'm Lucas Di Grassi. I'm a racing driver in Formula E for Rocket Venture Racing and a UN ambassador for Clean Air. I am focusing especially on mobility. I'm a racing driver. What I do for a living is race very fast cars and develop the technologies of these cars, which will impact uh, worldwide mobility in a much broader form. So I've seen during my career the transition from an internal combustion engine in Formula 1 to hybrid engines and now electric engines in Formula E. And electric motors um, for cars, for people and for logistics, they will serve two important purposes. The first one, if you're able to charge these cars with clean energy from renewable sources, from uh, solar, wind, uh, zero carbon sources like nuclear and green hydrogen in the future, we will have uh, we reduce the impact of the greenhouse gases and reduce the impact of climate change in the future or global warming. And the second and most important direct measures of electric cars uh, are the reducing air pollution in dense packed cities. We are here in the UN headquarters in New York City and Manhattan is the perfect example. Very densely packed, a lot of air pollution uh, in the center of the, of the city. And I can imagine the, the, how lives of people will be better with electric cars being quieter. New York and Manhattan is a very loud place. Uh, and uh, for cyclists and pedestrians and um, other people using micromobility to not have to breathe the exhaust emissions from uh, gases uh, to particulate matters and other forms of harmful gases that the, those exhaust pipes emit. And this will impact direct public health will impact direct uh, the cost of uh, health care for the government and for individuals. So electric cars and air pollution is probably the most unseen benefit of this transition to electric mobility. And for me and Formula E and UN to work together on this really gives me the, uh, a very good motivation because it's a solution which is available, uh, it's in front of us, anybody can push individually, companies can push on the corporate level, governments can push on policies, so everybody do this transition to electric mobility in the near future.